Um, today I'd like to raise, rise to mention two issues. The first is the tragedy in Berlin where 12 people were killed and 48 people injured in a Christmas market last night. I'd like to send my condolences on behalf of myself on behalf of the Fianna Fáil group to the people of Germany. Um, we're in a very uncertain times with the, vi with the volatility in the Middle East, the rise of the vices and the conflict in Syria. This has caused wide-ranging wide consequences across Europe and has fuelled a debate where the people, where those on the right are front and centre and in my opinion this is a threat to democracy and a threat to the rule of law. The pattern of elections in recent years where the far right seem to be capitalising on a xenophobic agenda is wrong in my opinion and makes me scared for the future of Europe. I'd also like to mention on the side the murder of the Russian ambassador in Ankara. Um, Cahir, look, um, in this house we have learned that, um, or in the public domain we've learned that in Ireland the, centra the um, so various banks have, uh, which have been identified by the central bank have identified 8,200 mortgage holders who have been denied a tracker rate. During the uh, recent economic downturn this would have caused severe um, economic instability on householders and on families. Um, um, look, if the shoe was in the other foot, the banks would be pursuing consumers uh, very aggressively, um, suing them for damages, special damage and whatnot. And I think the central bank needs to take a firm approach here. Ultimately, any time the bank makes a mistake, it's always the consumers who pays. And I think we need to look at this and we need to figure out how we can restore confidence in the banks and ensure that people who have been denied these tracker mortgages get the remedy they justly deserve.